Now we can see also the another way for create the there is another another very interesting tools inside new Udemy and for fracturing because the fracturing it's uh, it's divided in it's splitted in in more soft. For example, here we see uh, the cluster anterior details. In here we don't see that where is going and what is the also here we can uh, start with create for example um, we can take yeah we can uh, take for example all the other example for example that I think yeah that it's good and we can see also and we can copy and pop here okay Okay, that and that, okay. And also we can connect this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Control B for Extended view. Okay. Okay, now we see here we have the sphere. Control B for come back on. Uh, also, Control B is working uh, on every panel you have here. Okay. Here we have uh, our geometry, it's polygon geometry. And we can uh, update the scatter, and also that here we have the the Voronoi, and also here we have the Voronoi. Explode view. We want, for example, apply a few um, a few details inside here. We have a more way for apply the details here. And one way it's created here, interior details, we can check other details. And you see it's started to create your subdivision. And then with the this heavy, it's essentially it's the noise. You can apply, for example, more noise, more details, details case, you can jump back down, you can have more details. And you can use that for use more details for create more noise inside your elements. This is very comfortable when you work in and you want to create the noise. The another way it's created with the um, attribute VOP, we can detach that the inside the inside the mesh the inside the piece, and we can also apply, for example, the remesh, and then we can apply the noise. Or we can do that with the displays. Okay, there is more way for create uh, that effects. However, where is going in uh, the new release of uh, Udini desktop? It's split in another points in another um, SOP. So you can uh, interior RBD interior details. If you come here you find uh, a lot of uh, uh, nodes and you can connect the first because the first is more important to connect it. and then here you have the um, constraint geometry the proxy geometry and the sdf this is because here you can also apply the proxy geometry for have, uh, the very light geometry when you're working and here you can open also in sdf you can connect the, the SDF for use the, that, but uh, 
For now we can concentrate only on the first input. And when you're working with the first input, here you can find the same situation you can have, uh, for example, in the, I'm connected this here, as you can see here, the last. And here you can find the same situation of your uh, original Voronoi fracture points. And here you can change, for example, you can 0 0.1, you see, it's changed and you can apply, for example, the, the noise. It's the same, okay? It's maybe it's just change uh, a little bit the, the fracture, but the interface, the concept is the same. You can apply here, but you find a new release of Houdini is split because maybe sometimes you don't need that. You can uh, apply that in the second moment with that. And uh, another voice, another tab, it's the cluster. What is it, the cluster? Cluster, when you're working with the fracturing, you can maybe need to create some part is created one group inside your element. One group is very big. If you check the cluster, you can come back here, and you can uncheck. You see here is changed. Okay, what what is changed? Can I check also the interior details because um, it's too huge to you see. Here you have more color. Okay, more pieces. And if you cluster, you see some elements is merged together. And if you see with the um, the switch with the explode view, you see some element is merged together and is create only one block. And this is very helpful when you're working uh, uh, with some element you want, yes, it's divided, but they want to create also the group inside. And this is very nice to use that. Inside the new release of Houdini, where is going this node? It's split because uh, maybe you, you can find here in RPD cluster. I'm connected this here, I can delete the interior. And see here, we have the same combination of your cluster you can find here. It's the same. By default, it's apply automatically some nodes like, for example, the, your, uh, the, the attribute name. And also here you can create the um, constant uh, because uh, sometimes maybe you can create the cluster by using the, um, the constraint grid, the constraint network, and it's very nice to use that also that. Also, you can see now, if I come back here on the last, for example, eight, yeah, you see it's... Uh, it's create is is maybe it's better because it's create for you the cluster and also or maybe that because i have here the name is uh, can I change the name is cluster the attribute check okay here you see the cluster is working in the same way Obviously, if you change the size of your cluster here, it change and the radio is change also how it is working. And this is very nice also to see how it's work in the simulation.